mighty kinetic. Notice my feet are really flat and stiff. After the workout, as I walk towards the camera, cut it off and blade cuts it off too. Notice I have a little bit more arch in my feet after doing these exercises, doing this exercise routine and all this and that and that, blah, blah. All, right. all it is is squats and pull-ups. Working on the range of motion, mobility, performance technique, getting the muscles activated, getting the blood pump to those muscles and joints and whatnot to promote recovery and healing. Yes. This is the format or blueprint I give to all my clients and I change it up specifically to them where they are and what they want to do. But for the most part, the format is the same with different variations and things like that. This workout, again, squats and pull-ups. I already did my cardio piece to it. We walked one mile earlier this morning. This is a recovery workout. I recommend to the majority of my clients, we have two days where it's intense or really heavy, right? And even on some heavy days, it can be a, re a recovery. It just depends on how we have the workout set up and things like that, yeah? So today, push with the legs, and this technically there is no push with the legs, it's only pull with the legs, but I digress. Pull with the upper body. And then tomorrow's gonna be push with the upper body, pull with the legs. And then we rotate it like that. We work on the, with the upper body, we work on vertical plane of motion and then the uh, horizontal plane as well. Or it's both in the sagittal planes. Different days we work on the transverse plane and things like that and the front plane. So we do push and pull horizontal then we do vertical pull and push on different days and things like that. Full body workout, lower body and upper body, and always a cardio aspect piece to it. Whether it's running, swimming, getting on the rowing machine, ski machine, anything that gets your heart rate up and gets it pumping and gets you breathing and things like that. That's cardio. Cardio is short for cardiovascular system. It means the heart and how it pumps blood to the whole entire body and things like that. Awesome. Yeah. I watched the Tom Platt's video. His main thing was these people nowadays are squatting with their nose going forward. It's like Let's get back to the days when people squat with the nose going straight down, getting to the quads and things like that. And sure enough, as I do that, squat with my nose going straight down versus forward. I feel my quads. I'm getting the muscles activated. Ooh, squeeze some blood into them, getting some good recovery. And then as I warm up a little bit more and a little bit more, I get a little bit deeper each and every time I come back to the squat to eventually where I'm in a full ass to grass deep squat. When I'm in that full ass to grass deep squat, it's helping my mobility and things like that. Especially my ankle mobility because it's piss poor at times. As you see towards the end of the video, I have a little bit more arch in my foot uh, on my left side. As you see me walk towards the camera to cut it off and it gets off the camera as well. But the point is to work through a full range of motion for a majority of part. I'm not gonna say every workout do a full range of motion, but really get in the habit of doing a full range of motion at least two days, two or three days, and even do it towards the end or work on the eccentric part of the movement to promote some flexibility and to get mobility and things like that. That will help you 
be fit and feel a little bit young and be able to move a lot better in the long run and things like that. So when you do full range of motion, you help promote synovial fluid or blood in those areas. And the blood is what helps recover the body or it helps you with recovery and things like that. You also have different things like myofascial release or people just pressing on you or you can press on yourself or get a tennis ball foam roller or something like that and just press and get the myofascial release that would help alleviate some soreness and things like that and get you back in the game because this uh, right now the current research or people are saying that the myofascia when that can get smoothed out or when you can release that the muscles can function just as good as not as sore or anything like that um, you can go into that rabbit hole with research or different experts in the field talk, talking about it and get your own opinion on it and what works for you and things like that. So this is a recovery workout. The next day, maybe another recovery workout, depends on how good I feel and things like that. So uh, towards the end of the week, kind of like tapers off. So the beginning of the week starts really intense. Then towards the end of the week kind of tapers off and things like that where it has more of an emphasis on like mobility and just recovering and things like that. Like I said, two real intense days of horizontal push or, or, or pull and then vertical push or pull and things like that. And each time I revisit each day, I do a bilateral with the legs, meaning two, two feet on the ground. Then I do a unilateral, which means um, one limb at a time or one leg at a time and things like that. Like I said, the format is still the same, but we just mix up different variables within that format. And here it is. Thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of my rambling. Hope I gave you something that you can go and utilize and things like that. And Blade will cut the video off for us and things like that. He's like, no, I want to do it. Um, all right, yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Wow, no, no, no. he's teething. <laughs>